All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you, uh, in my opinion, what I think is probably the best card trick that a beginner can learn because it really requires no sleight of hand and uh, the ending is actually pretty cool. So uh, let's say with this random packet of cards here, I'd have you pick a random one. This is a completely um, random selection. So let's say you were to pick this card from the middle. It really does not matter uh, what card you picked. You could have picked any card. And basically what I want to do here is I'll set your card down, but I want to show you the other cards that you could have picked. Okay, this is... As you can see, they're all uh, red cards, and you can see the backs are all red as well. So these are all completely uh, free choices. You could have chosen them if you wanted to, uh, but in this case, um, I really already knew what card you're going to pick because as you can see, here's the card you selected, and right here on the front, you can see this is the only card that was an Ace of Spades that had an X on it. So uh, this is a trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so like as I said before, uh, this trick really is super simple. The only thing you're going to need, unfortunately, um, is some double stick tape over here. Now, this is going to really benefit you if you actually go out and buy some. There's a lot of tricks that use this, um, especially as a beginner, because it really, like I said before, it doesn't uh, use any sleight of hand. So basically, um, you'd be taking the tape, and I'll try to get it on the light here. You can, you're taking the tape and you're basically just taping it. You can, you can barely even see it here, but basically, I have the tape here and I have the tape plastered right there. So maybe you can see it in the lighting down here, maybe a little bit of the tape. I just put a little bit on and it's very difficult for any spectator to notice. Obviously on the camera, uh, you can barely see it. So um, the setup here basically is you have their card, okay, the one um, with the Ace of Spades and you can have just a random group of cards, okay, it doesn't really have to be anything specific, maybe like uh, 13 cards or so and you want to make sure these ones are like all red. Um, and then you can make this one the black ace of spades and you can draw an X on it if you want. Um, and basically what you want to do here is start off with the packet in your left hand um, and then place the ace of spades on top with the double stick tape and you can have the spectator pick any card that they want to. It's a completely free choice. And the thing is, if they even pick the top card, you're already set. So it makes the trick even better because they've already picked the ace. Um, but obviously, most of the time it's not going to be that way. So let's say they were to pick a card from the middle what you do is you take it out, make sure not to show them the face of the card because obviously it's not that ace. You take it and you just very casually set it on top of the packet. Make sure you can square it up and use your thumb to apply some pressure and make sure that stick, uh, that double stick tape actually sticks to the card. So at this point, you can push over the now double card packet. As you can see, it's the ace. And that's now sticking to the card that they actually chose. So you take that, you push it over with your thumb, this is going to look like one card. Um, you can have the spectators hold the card if you want to. It would make the trick a little bit better. So anyways, there are cards here. I'll leave it face up. And what you want to do is you want to show them all these cards that they could have picked. So uh, this is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching.